Hello, Filmmaker here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play um, Burnhouse Lane. Hmm. a lot harder than it looks <laughs> doing that <laughs> all right hoping that what just happened there is okay if this was a platform and those logs would uh, start to uh, go down into the water as soon as you landed in there. I have as many lives as a cat. Possibly more. I thought that the cave system was on Okay, that was stupid of me. Um, yeah, you'd have thought that the trees the trees would have roots that would um that would mean cave systems were unlikely. I guess I thought that uh, the bows would support cat's weight. Okay. To be honest, the jumping mechanism here is actually kind of awkward. have to say, whatever the heck that is, I am staying away from it. That was definitely moving. Okay. I don't think there are a lot of rules left in England. I really didn't. Uh, yeah, hey guys. Um, I've got to that thing. Go ahead, little one. Our wolf brothers won't bother you. Okay. I will jump in celebration of your help. I really didn't think there were any wolves left in England. At 
thought this might be the right price to get out, but perhaps not. Guess I'm going all the way back to the farm then. I'm just going to experiment with this for a bit. See you once I've actually managed to do something helpful. I told her not to go. There's no way we can find her now. And let's face it, she is probably already dead. Which is unfortunate because she was nice. I liked her. What if it's not too late? We can't just leave her there all alone. Let me explain it again. These woods are dark. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Oh, there's gotta be a way. Maybe, if we had a tracking dog. Or tracking um, cat. Or a cat? Hi there. I can't believe we are following a stray cat through the woods in the middle of the night. Stop whinging. I really feel like it's leading us somewhere. Ugh, this bog stinks of death. Really? To me, it just stinks like shit. You well, guys, yeah. if you're going to be following the cat, you should perhaps stand behind the cat. Just a suggestion. Death and shit. A popular combination. This is it, the Green Family Manor. Most people think it's just a legend, but it's really here. Great. But take it down a notch, man, could you? Remember the dead girl in the cave? Yes, but don't worry, I've got this. Well, you keep saying that, but... I don't know. That shit was fucked up. Yes, I agree. But unlike her, I know what I'm doing. I don't see you carrying any weapons. That worries me slightly. We don't need weapons. Just stay back and let me do the talking. Ah, oh, Walter. It's really you. If you are Walter, you're not. Hi there, Walter. How are you? Oh. Do not be alarmed. I come as a friend, so please, hear me out. My name is Arno, and I'm your biggest fan. I know everything about you. I even know your secret. The thing no one else knows. But that's okay, because it's safe with me. I just... I really admire you, and I understand that you have done all these horrible things for a reason. I came all this way to tell you something important. Something that will change everything. Walter, I... No, don't! Stop it! Right now! Arno? Shit! Let's find Angie and get the fuck out of here. Oh, uh... Okay.
Okay. Well, she's she's here anyway. I I don't really know why. She thought that would help, but. Jenny, what are you doing here? Returning the favor. You're lucky the key was still in the lock. There's no time to talk. We should get the fuck out of here, Angie. Yeah. Let's go. So we rescue Orano Ar as well. I really think we should rescue Orano. Is that Arno? Arno. We can't save him. The big pile of muscles will shred us to bits if we go back there. But maybe I can talk him out of this. Uh, well, she doesn't really seem in the mood for talking to people. So let's do this. Um. Wait. What do you want from us? Stop! wasn't very good at that. Um, mm, well, we know what he wants from us. <laughs> oh, so does that. Um, Johnny. Out I... to the weeders. Eat shit, motherfucker. Sorry, it's just... <laughs> With his accent, that's kind of... Okay. I always knew my elephant gun would come in handy one day, but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be the legendary Walter Green himself that I shoot with it. You don't shoot Walter, you shot someone else. Whoever you shot though, it wasn't Walter Green. A seven foot tall strong man in a mask wielding a huge bloody knife? If that's not Walter Green, then who is? I don't know, but in that house, I found an old soldier's body. It had Walter Green engraved on the name tag. Look, it doesn't matter, guys. Whoever he was, he now bites the dust, and I don't think anyone will miss him. I guess... I'll miss Arno, though. He didn't deserve to die like that. Was he that bloke? Yep. Who was sword? If only I'd bought you more time. Maybe you could have saved him, too. What's done is done. He knew what he was getting into. We certainly owe him, but we can't turn back time. Hmm. It should have been me who died there. Don't say that. Why would you even think like that? I have cancer. I'm dying anyway. You? What? No way. You're shitting us, right? I wish I was. My time's almost up. And Arno... He could have lived a long, happy life. Damn. I don't know what to say. There is nothing to say. Let's get back to the farm. I bet George is up already. Someone's got to make him a sandwich.
You guys go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Okay, but try not to upset any more serial killers. At least not before breakfast. No, of course. But it's such a nice morning. I just want to enjoy it for a moment and collect my thoughts. Sure. See you later then. And don't step in a sheep's poo. Those are well-trained sheep. They don't shit in the garden. Hmm. You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. What's that? A name tag? Let's see. Miller. Nice name. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? Well, you're welcome to stay if you want. There's always room for one more cat. Being power. Okay. Uh, mm. All right. I guess that will rather disturbingly come in handy at some point for my next mission, whatever that turns out to be. Hey, George. How are we doing? Wow. Someone's popular today. Huh? What do you mean? The cats. Just look at them. They adore you. Cats? Oh, yes. These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, she's always preferred dogs. But don't worry. We can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. Hey, uh, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, are you? Yeah. You hungry? Well, we wouldn't mind a nice sarnie, yeah. Right, I'm on it. Now, personally, I'm running out of toppings that I myself like. Go for strawberry jam. Strawberry jam's not that bad. Um, there we go. Good. This is not how I made the sandwich. <laughs> oh, I should have gone and saved. I think it would have given me a chance to save if I was about to face something. At least her. Uh, um, 
I'm liking the look of this. This this episode is going to be as long as it is. All right, took me a long time to think of doing this. Good, I was hoping to walk underneath my hanged corpses again. And now I've gotten my wish. Doing this will reveal something helpful. Okay. Good, great. That's what I was hoping to find on my own hanged body. That's even got blood on it. What fun. You look bigger today. Do I? Perhaps it's because I'm so proud of you. Two tasks completed already. Well done, Angeline. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I choke to death coughing? Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. But I've only just finished the last one. You don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to be a nurse. A phlebotomist. One day her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay. But what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then, you must make sure she consumes it. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. 
someone horrible, like Mary. But won't that kill her? No, it's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. You'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. But I... No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still. And let the darkness take you back into your world. I wouldn't have thought, even if the blood was from someone who had cancer, that drinking a tiny bit of it would kill you. Angie? It's the cancer, isn't it? Oh, you poor thing. Is there something I can do? I could use a friend, but, you know, I'll understand if you need to go. This desolate farm isn't really the right place for someone like you. Actually, George has told me there's a spare bedroom upstairs. I can have it, if I want. Oh yeah? This place is exactly what I need after everything I've been through. So I'm gonna... Take him up in his offer and stay for a while. The thing is, I've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> and I don't even mean the vicar. It's a lot of things I kind of fucked up. And I could also use a friend, Angie. Okay. There's just uh, one problem. The room, well, it's uh, locked. And neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Maybe you've seen it? Maybe you've seen it? I don't know. I've seen a lot of keys. What does it look like? It's, uh, it's uh, yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. A lion? I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. Well, I will let her know if I see it. But, before I do that, um, well, I will let her know that I have seen it. I will give it to her. But first, I think this episode has been going on for long enough. So... Um, I am going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.